Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about why progress is the key to happiness. The truth is, most people believe that materialistic things will make them happy. They think expensive cars, the perfect relationship, and having nice things will boost their happiness and joy. But in reality, what truly makes us happy is progress. Progress in our jobs, progress in our relationships, and small changes and milestones we experience at every step of our lives is what really gives our lives juice and excitement. If you really think about it, in any area of your life, if you're not evolving or progressing, we begin to become unhappy. Anytime our growth is stunted in any area of our lives, we begin to feel unfulfilled. This is why it's important to consistently progress and set goals for ourselves. Becoming stagnant is the root of all unhappiness. When we set small goals for ourselves, whether it is to lose weight, complete a project we've always wanted to, travel the world, and we actually complete that goal, we feel the satisfaction and contentment that true happiness brings. As Tony Robbins quotes, if you want to have ongoing joy and fulfillment in your life, the secret is just one word, progress. Progress equals happiness. While achievements and materialistic things may excite you for the moment, the only thing that's going to make you happy long-term is knowing that you're making progress. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, what's been some hardships you've experienced along the way? Because, you know, being an entrepreneur, our show is about inspiration and inspiring people. So what kind of obstacles you faced along the way? Because I know you started your company in the 2000s and you're launching in 2021. So let's talk about that. Lost of a job, you know, in uh, 2009 with the whole economic crisis. Um, unfortunately, I lost my teaching job. At the time, I was on a temporary certification, so I, I uh, my certification was expiring, so I wasn't able to continue. So that was one big hardship. What does luxury mean to you? Luxury. In India, I discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf. True luxury is a feeling that you are the Maharani of your world. And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. Next up on the show, we have luxury handbag designer Jeannie Seidel. The Miami, Florida native born to Haitian immigrants rediscovered her passion for art and fashion and began sewing clutch bags by hand using textiles from local suppliers. The Jeannie Seidel collection was then born, creating one-of-a-kind luxury handbags. Jeannie, thank you for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. And I see you're in studio. I love the background. I see your bag collection. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so let's talk about it. You know, what I love about your story was that you were inspired by the economic crisis in the 2000s, the late 2000s, to start your business. So when did you have your aha moment? 
In the late 2000s, I actually just graduated with my master's degree and the hopes of finding a job and buying a home. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't able to find a job right away. It took me at least four years to find a job within my field. Um, but I always remembered what my mom told me about having that skill, mm -hmm. which my skill was sewing. And my mom's like, remember your skill, go back to your skill. So that's when I started sewing my purses. And in the beginning, it was just for me, but it turned into a business because <laughs> more and more people wanted my purses. Yeah. And do you know what? I'm seeing these lovely bags. Let's talk about your collection and the different bags that you guys have. So originally I started out with just clutches when I was making the bags on my own. I was just making clutch bags, various sizes. But then my husband was like, you might want to, you know, had some more variation because not everyone would just want a clutch. So we went into satchel, satchel bags, tote bags, uh, the, the belt bag. Um, so we have a variation of variety of bags because, you know, not everyone is in that one size fits all. Yeah. So we wanted to provide the variety, you know, so someone can choose what they like. Yeah. And what's the inspiration behind these bags? Because they look really unique. They don't look like the normal bags on the market, the cookie cutter bags. So let's talk about the inspiration behind these bags. The inspiration is the love that I have for color. Okay. I love color i love having that pop of color in my outfits and i'm always looking for that and unfortunately like you mentioned before in the market i didn't find much of that mm -hmm. so i started making them myself um and an another inspiration is my love for art i love art whatever city i'm in whatever country i'm in i have to look for art pieces so those two combined together kind of was my inspiration for this collection. Yeah, I love that. And you said your love for color because, you know, a lot of people stick to black and it would be great exactly. to just, you know, wear even if you you're wearing like neutral colors or black, you can always wear a bag that you have or your collection and it just gives that pop of color. And I love it. It's very fashionable. I know that you traveled the world. You said you love art in search of unique artwork. So let's talk about traveling the world. I know you landed in Italy. Let's talk about that. So I've traveled to various continents and uh, Italy was one place that I fell in love with the first time that I visited. Uh, most importantly was because of the art that was there and secondly just the country itself there was something about Italy that I just I just love being there yeah <laughs> and um, so we ended up collaborating with an Italian artist and we have two other artists that we also collaborated with as well uh, one being American actually Daryl Schiff and another one being uh, Chinese, um, Fu Zheng Wang. Mm -hmm. We collaborate with him as well, in addition to uh, Roberto Abergetti. Mm -hmm. And what was it about this designer that you know you were really inspired by his designs? What was what was it about his artwork? For all three artists, the the thing that really uh, captured me with their artwork was the pop of color. Yeah. <laughs> and as you can see in the artwork. That was one thing that I love. I love the abstract art and how different it was, how edgy. I'm a very edgy person and I love how I could rock any of those, you know, uh, artwork on the bag with any outfit that I have. So that was one thing that really uh, gravitated me towards these particular artists. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's been some hardships you've experienced along the way? Because, you know, being an entrepreneur, our show is about inspiration and inspiring people. So what kind of obstacles you faced along the way? Because I know you started your company in the 2000s and you're launching in 2021. So let's talk about that. Uh, I faced various obstacles. Like I mentioned before, uh, lost of a job, you know, in uh, 2009 with the whole economic crisis. Um, unfortunately, I lost my teaching job. At the time, I was on a temporary certification, so I, I 
uh, my certification was expiring so I wasn't able to continue so that was one big hardship and then along the way um, you know some hardship with uh, my family you know uh, some struggles that we had along the way and some personal hardships within my own personal life you know which really kind of uh, caused me not to move forward at the time but um, I definitely always wanted to produce this line and I knew that I could so I just pushed ahead <laughs> and yeah. used those obstacles just as you know ammunition to just keep going yeah that's the way to do it as an entrepreneur you know there's always obstacles for everyone even celebrities I interview they all tell me about all of the obstacles they face and and I know that that's what makes success sweet, right? It's, it's the obstacles yes. that you face along the way. You know, you quoted only passions, great passions can elevate the soul to great things. So let's talk about what that quote means to you. I love that quote and I really live by that and all that I do. Basically to me, it means that no matter what comes my way, I always have to remember what I'm passionate about because that is gonna help me to be more successful. And, and also, I have to always remind myself that everything starts in the mind. Yeah. So whatever I put my mind to, that's what I'm gonna achieve and what I speak or what I you know, put out in the atmosphere, that's, that's basically what I'm going to get out of it. So being positive uh, constantly, no matter what I'm going through and knowing that the end result will be success is what helps me pretty much. Yeah. 100%. And I know for you, it's not just about being a designer or an entrepreneur. It's also about inspiring other people, other entrepreneurs. I know you want to even start your own foundation. So let's talk about all of those things. Sure. I definitely want to inspire young people. Uh, I feel like there's so many young people who need maybe, may, you know, someone to help them along the way to kind of um, help pursue that vision or that dream that they have. So that's one thing that I would love to do eventually, maybe open a, a school of, you know, an entrepreneurial type school that will help young people to pursue their business skills and teach them all the right steps that they would need uh, to be that entrepreneur that they, uh, you know, dream to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, you also, <laughs> and you also want to give back to the community as well, I know yes. that, and start a foundation. So what kind of foundation yes. would you like to start? I would love to start a foundation where, um, one, when I, I could have mission trips pretty much to have individuals go to other countries and to help, uh, you know, uh, like country, country people or uh, people that are business owners or um, entrepreneurs themselves in other places and even here and may not know how to start or how to um, enhance, you know, their business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And speaking of your business, I know that your bag collection is postponed till 2021. So let's talk about where people can purchase the bag and about the launch. So the launch, unfortunately, because of COVID-19, we had to push back the launch. So we're hoping to launch uh, early uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. And people can definitely find out more information on GenieSeidel.com. Mm -hmm. And we're also on Instagram, uh, Genie B. Seidel, uh, LLC. Mm -hmm. And then we're also on Facebook, um, J. Seidel Collection. Mm -hmm. And what can people expect from this launch? Because as you said, it's so colorful and artistic. What can people expect when uh, your bags launch and finally people can purchase them? People can definitely expect, you know, to uh, basically have a walking art piece. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's, what these, that's what these bags are. They're a walking art piece and they are statement bags. So they can yeah. definitely expect to get that statement that they're looking for. I love that and especially right now with everything that's happening in the world, it's nice to have a, a nice colorful bag yes. <laughs> to wear with your mask <laughs> or wherever, you know, it's, it's nice to have uh, such a beautiful bag and you know, congratulations on all your success. Where can Thank people so uh, connect with you on social media and of course uh, Jeannie Seidel collection and your bags, where can they connect with them? Uh, JeannieSeidel.com and then on Facebook, Jay Seidel collection 
Instagram, Jeannie, uh, Jeannie B. Seidel, LLC. Perfect. Well, thank you again for being on the show and making this happen. And again, congratulations. And honestly, I look forward to getting one of your bags because they look amazing. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. All right. Thank you. Bye, Jeannie. Bye. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.